three, two, one. You ready? You're listening to the Real Pineapple Podcast Network. Thank you so much for listening. We are the Real Pineapple. This is Hunter, and I'm here with the pride of Idaho, Scott. Scott, how you doing? So good. I love dinosaurs. Yeah, you wouldn't like this one. <laughs> um, so, so we're talking about Jurassic World Fallen Kink. Okay, so I'm just going to get this out of the way. Jurassic was- Park World kingdom yeah, of the yeah, crystal skull yeah we, yeah we're actually reviewing we're back a dinosaur story we're not reviewing yes <laughs> can we review the game boy game of that absolutely oh, <laughs> well you know what the game boy game is way better than what i sat through so <laughs> so just getting this out of the way so um me and colin we reviewed uh jurassic world which came out to, i want to say it was 26 uh, 15 i want to say 2015 yeah yeah well, we with Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas How- uh, Howard. And that was one of those movies Colin loved. Like, mm-hmm. Colin loves that movie. And I just yeah. was like, eh, it's fine. I remember you, neither of you disliked it, I would say. I, yeah. I remember that review being pretty positive. Yeah, I mean, I gave it a B- minus because I was like, well, you know, it's it's fine. It's a, you know, it's dinosaur. It's fine. This shit is upsetting in a way that I just left the theater genuinely flabbergasted. I I, I was... It's can, all... I, can I ask a general question first Please. before you get into it? Um, are dinosaurs something that is, like, race-related? Do you feel like maybe white people are infatuated with dinosaurs? That's a really interesting question, and I think so. Because I think... Okay, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Cause, cause, like, cause I set you up. I set you up for that one. I you you up. did. And, and the thing is, I think, I think white people just love dinosaurs because they think maybe they can control them, but there's enough danger there. <laughs> that's that's honestly what I think. You know, you know what it is. Is it's like, hey, 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 what if? What? No, seriously, guys. What? No, seriously. Like what? If, like like I know this might be a fucked up, but like maybe we should actually do this. Like. Like, let's push the limits here. And then you're just like, mm, you guys are fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, here, here's the thing about this movie. I I went into this kind of thinking, because eh, I remember seeing the trailer for this in a Pacific Rim Uprising. And me and Alea were, were, went and saw it, and she looked over at me, and she was like, I'm not excited for this. And I went, I feel like I should be, and I feel like, Everyone in the, in the kind of the movie industry is like, come on, dinosaurs. Yeah, aren't you excited? But I just think about why do we bring dinosaurs back anyway? And there's still stuff in the news now that they're saying about, oh, hey, we found a dinosaur. Boom. We're going to try and clone it and get its DNA. And I just think, why are we trying to do that? Dinosaurs? Well, they recently said that within the next six or seven years, they're going to be able to... Like, through the genes of, like, a chicken, like, recreate a dinosaur or something. Yeah, and my question is, why the fuck are we doing that? And That's a good question. I mean, we've already made, they've already made the movies. We know what's going to happen. Exactly. So, so this movie uh, stars, of course, Chris Pratt as Owen Grady and uh, Bryce Fine-Ass Dallas Howard as Claire Carrying. I love me some Bryce Dallas Howard. And i got to be honest, I think that was the thing that offended me the most is, dude, she's trying so hard to turn chicken shit into chicken salad, but she they, they just give her nothing to do. And so, this whole movie... By the way, Scott, you like Hot Pockets, right? Do you like Hot Pockets? I love Hot I love you, Hot Pockets. I mean, I yes. I mean, I burn my mouth every time, but I love Hot Pockets. <laughs> so, what's a Hot Pocket take to cook? Like, one, like, three minutes about that? Yeah, I would say, you know, if you can get it down to a science, it's probably like a 250 to like a, you know, like a three minute, three minute zap. Um, yeah, so if you cooked a Hot Pocket, you would, uh, that would be actually longer 
the amount of time that Jeff Goldblum is in this movie. Jeff Goldblum is in no. the movie. He's in the movie maybe three minutes. Four if I'm feeling generous. He now can now what's what is this? Is it is it because they kill him off, or is it because he just does a cameo? He just does a cameo one. Uh, and the thing is, I think I would be less upset if they hadn't shown him in the trailer. Basically, if you've seen the trailers where he's in the courtroom, you've seen half his shit. That that's basically what's in the trailer is half of what he says, including, by the way, the last fucking line in the movie where he says, "Welcome to Jurassic World." That is basically the last line in the fucking film. And it's in the trailer. I I love how in every one of these movies, like it all starts with, "Hey guys, like maybe you shouldn't do this shit." Uh, like. You don't know what the fuck you're getting yourself into. Like, every single movie, there's always this person that is has to step up and be like, I don't know, <coughs> hey, hey, dicks, like, you're gonna fuck this shit up again. And, I, and that's kind of sad that he's not in most of this, which is a travesty. It's kind of like, it kind of reminded me of, and I haven't seen this movie. But that it sounds like it's like uh, Independence Day, the new Independence Day, and like the only redeeming quality was Jeff Goldblum, and if he was only in that for a small period of time because Will Smith wasn't in it, then it would have been so much worse. And it was already the shittiest movie we had seen that year. Yeah, it, it, the thing is, man, you could tell. So Jeff Goldblum, he basically starts off the movie by saying, "Hey." Uh, because there's this huge Senate hearing about what do we do with dinosaurs? Do we save them and treat them like every other animal? Because they're uh, they're basically th- th- dinosaurs, the Jurassic World island, that's going to blow up, right? Like, it's volcanic. So all the dinosaurs okay. are going to die. That's the big kind of hook. And so they're having, these having, they're having these debates about do we save the dinosaurs, blah, blah, blah. And Jeff Goldblum basically says, uh, we made a mistake. Nature is correcting its mistake. You need to let these dinosaurs mm-hmm. die. And I went, yeah, that is totally correct. That's exactly what what you should do. And yet, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire, she's a part of this organization where, and I hate saying this, but it, it's so true. It, it's where you have like a bored, rich, white housewife, and they just don't have anything to do, so they like protest, you know, fill in the blank. And mm-hmm. and basically, she's she's the head of this organization that's protesting the dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs need to be saved. They're just like people. They're just like us. And I'm just sitting there thinking, no, they're they're not. They'll kill. They'll kill us so fucking quick if we have them. So where does where does Chris Pratt's character Owen like? side on this because he's because he's what like he has a connection with them like he's a he's a dino whisperer right yeah so he you know he trained uh he found that you can train you know velociraptors like blue to go ahead and you know be cognitive Ooh. and all that shit and how to train your pterodactyl exactly <laughs> oh god that would be a funny movie but but yeah basically how to train your raptor and basically she goes to chris pratt uh, or owen and goes hey the dinosaurs are going to die, blah, blah, blah. And she just guilts him by going, Blue's out there. Blue could die. And I'm like, oh, my God, really? And so that's what gets him in on this mission. Yeah. And, he's just like, and he goes, like, I'm done with that. No. And then, of course, you know, he they go. He gets to get on the helicopter. And, of course, he's in the back underneath a blanket. It's like, oh, there's Owen. And I just, I, I, yeah. But like he, had, he, hid on, he hid on the helicopter cor- to get there. Yeah, basically you remember how in Home Alone 2, Macaulay Culkin pops up when you're doing the roll call right, in the van? Or, or like in the first Jurassic Park when uh, Jeff Goldblum's daughter like sneaks on to the mission with them. And like, what the fuck are you doing here? And like, you're going to get yourself murdered. They've already done it. Yeah. They've done, they're done that. And it's just, I, I just went, really? That's where we're going? Okay, fine. And so... So they get them on the on the island, and would it be shocking to tell you that a uh, a billionaire was the one who said we're gonna save these? Oh yeah, that's important too. So the, so the billionaire uh, who is uh, e, uh, I believe it's Eli, uh, yeah, e, uh, played by uh, Rafe Spall, uh, Eli Mills. He's the one who goes, hey, you know, we're gonna save these these dinosaurs, and basically they're using Claire's. Uh, technology from the last one where she can like tag all the dinosaurs and all that they're using her heat signature software so that's why they need her and then of course blue he can track blue 
and they're saying we need to we need to keep Blue, make sure he gets back here because Blue, you know, he's the smartest so, dinosaur we've what, ever seen. What is what is their plan here? Like what? Okay, so they have this island that's going to explode, and they have all these dinosaurs on it. Are they just going to move them to another yeah. facility? Like what's what's the plan? Yeah, that's the plan. So basically, move them to like another island, basically. Mm-hmm. But again, would it be shocking if I told you that the that the billionaire had evil intentions with these dinosaurs. What? No. So I think the thing that made me laugh the hardest is that Claire, she saw Jurassic World. She saw, you know, people getting grabbed by pterodactyls and thrown, you know, into, into the ocean and, and, and shit and killed. And she just goes along and goes, nope, nope, this totally works. Like, you know, this is, this is kind of my out, but nope, I'm totally going to go ahead. And... And go and and oh and the thing is Owen will uh, no, Owen Wilson that this movie would a lot better. Oh my, <laughs> that would be amazing. What if he was like the evil genius behind it? Owen Wilson is Owen Grady, but, <laughs> but <laughs> dinos. Uh, dinos what? But, but, <laughs> but th- thank you. But but the thing is, they don't give Chris Pratt anything to do. He has one action scene kind of at the very end, and there's a scene where the where the actual uh, island is is exploding, that's kind of intense. But he really kind of spits off these cheesy one liners, and that's really all he kind of does, and makes googly eyes at Bryce Dallas Howard on occasion. Um, I think what just bothered me about this is that it's really lazy, and the dialogue is really bad. It doesn't feel like they understood how people talk and everyone just had a quip uh they they have this asian uh asian i think chick if it's if she's not asian i apologize but they had uh <laughs> i don't know man like know, i'm just saying because no, because i'm just um, whatever she's something she's something yeah she yeah she uh, i think it's danielle uh panita uh oh me- uh, her mexican whoops way off oh she <laughs> Want was he <laughs> close enough? She, yeah, close enough. Only off by a couple, you know, continents. But she, uh, she plays Zia, and then Justice Smith plays a uh, Franklin Webb, and they're like the two two of the people who work at the organization that go with them on the exposition. And this black guy, dude, he's just comic relief. Like waka waka, look at me, I'm scared of dinosaurs. Ah, like that's basically what he's there to do. You're talking about Justice Smith. Yeah, Charles Franklin. Yeah, he he. Uh, um, I remember him from um, that next Netflix show. I'm totally blanking on. Uh, it's about the upcoming like rap game in New York, I think, and oh. like the the b boys and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, the 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 Afro it, it sets it off. So he's he's just like the, he is the comic relief in this. Exactly, and I just, it, it, it's really dumb, honestly, and, and, and the thing is, I think I appreciate the fact that he's at least reacting how black people would react going with dinosaurs, you know, but at the same time, I go, why did you fucking go if you, you know, you're going to explore dinosaurs, and he's like, oh my god, we can't be here, oh, T-Rex, T-Rex, and so he keeps mitching the, t- the goddamn T-Rex, to the point where I just went, I, I need a TRX to show up so he will just stop yelling about it. Um, the one thing I will give this movie is the atmosphere. The, the last 30 minutes-ish are really uh, are really atmosphere. Uh, the, the atmosphere, pardon me, is set really well. It's very gothic. It's very dark. It's there a lot of horror elements to it, to be honest. And... I appreciated that, but the T-Rex, though, the, so they create basically a super, it's like the, oh god, I can't remember, it's like the Omnisaurus Rex or some shit like that they create, it doesn't really matter, but basically it's a combination of Blue's DNA mixed with a raptor, mixed with a T-Rex, so this thing is like big, but it's, it's, it, but it's very slick. It's a it's a super Rex. Yeah, it basically. I mean, it, it's like your penis. It's super big. It's slick. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like yep. veiny. Yep. I'm sh- I would imagine, but, mm-hmm. but yes. But, yeah. <laughs> Am I hitting all the check marks? Mm-hmm. But, yep. Yeah. yeah. You. It's like you've seen it before. Perfect. But but 
It's it's ridiculous though, and I will. So basically, what the evil billionaire ends up doing is taking all of the dinosaurs and bring them to his his mansion, where he has a whole underground lair built, where he invites all these drug dealers and billionaires to bid on the dine. I am not even fucking kidding. So it turns into basically an auction where he's like, "Ah, oh, we have this Triceratops, ten million sold to." whoever I just and and I was just sitting in my seat and I just went come on now like you can't tell me by the way um at the end of the movie or near the end they show that all the all the dinosaurs have been sold right there's probably about 30 of them they all sold for a total of 180 million dollars the budget on this movie was 170 so the concept of paying $10 million for a dinosaur, that seems really cheap for a fucking dinosaur. So I just kind of went, really? Why? That's all you're charging? I'd be charging $50 million for a fucking dinosaur. And, and yeah, it's just... It seems very realistic, the whole thing. Yeah, it's just... All right, all right, so one of the things that I really enjoyed about the original one and probably the first two or three is that... The dinosaurs were intense and, you know, scary. I feel like you know, they were thrilling. They were, you didn't know where they were. They might gang up on you. You might find one you've never seen before that has, you know, spits in your face or you sneaks up on you or whatever. Did you get that vibe in this one? Or was it just like, now that, because Chris Pratt is some dino whisperer, he just is not afraid of him anymore? Or is it intense? I felt like the plot was just so not well thought out that there are some scenes. So there's one scene where uh, uh, Claire and Owen, they have to basically um, grab something from this dinosaur. They're trapped in a uh, cargo uh, with this T-Rex and the T-Rex, uh, she has to stick a needle in its, its neck or something like that to sedate it or mm-hmm. something like that. And the T-Rex wakes up. And I was like, oh, shit, that's not good. Mm-hmm. And, and that scene was really tense. And there's, and, and then when the Omni, the, the super dinosaur, the, the boss dinosaur, uh, is loose in the condo, uh, gets loose in the mansion, because shocker it does, um, mm-hmm. it goes to chase the girl. Uh, th- so there's a little girl in this. And so the twin, <laughs> so, I, spoiler, I, I have to say a spoiler for this. So, um, the spoiler uh, for this movie, or the big twist, is the little girl who's in it, uh, uh, Maisie uh, Lockwood, who's the granddaughter of the guy from the first movie, if Mary mm-hmm. serves. The old, the old guy? Yeah, so basically you find out that uh, her mom got killed in a car crash, right? But you come to find out that Maisie was in the car too, so she's a clone. That's the big... Dude, what? Scott, I'm That's not, so random. Scott, when they revealed the twist, I laughed out loud. I was like, oh my fucking god, you've got to be kidding me. Um, I, I died. Uh, B.D. Wong is in this again as, as, uh, his, his character, whose name I'm totally blanking on. I'm sorry, I'm just so irritated by this movie, I just don't really care. Uh, Dr. Wu, pardon me. Of course it's Wu, but, but I, but, I, <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that was not too far. But I, the thing about this movie, man, the dinosaurs look great, and I think if you're just telling me, hey, I want to watch this with the sound off and have you know dubstep or what the fuck ever playing in the background, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. But if you take this as a whole film, the plot is just all over the place. Uh, by the way. Uh, the very end of the movie, so all these dinosaurs that they were auctioning off get loose, right, in, in the compound, mm-hmm. right? And so they cut to Claire, uh, Maisie, and Owen. They're in, the, like, the control room. And so all they're watching all the dinosaurs die. And there's a big red button, literally a big red button, that opens the gates to the, to the compound so they would be out, you know, in, mm-hmm. in, in L.A. or whatever, wherever they, wherever they are. So Bryce Dallas Howard, like, lifts up the button. Or, or, like, acts like she's going to hit the button. She goes, I can't do it. I can't. And then three seconds later, the little girl hits the button. I just went, really? <laughs> and 
And and then she goes into like and Owen looks at her like, what did you do? And she's like, I had to. They're they're breathing and living like me. And all I thought is, oh, so are child molesters. Do we let them out so they can come see you? And I, I just dude, I just started laughing after I rolled my eyes really hard. I just I couldn't believe it. And the movie just goes Yep, di- so the movie ends with dinosaurs just all over the place. Like they cut to Egypt, there's pterodactyls flying. They cut to Miami, and there's that big, uh, that big water one from the last movie. Mm-hmm. You know, I it, it, it just, yeah, dinosaurs are. It, it's it basically is weird. We're back in dinosaur story. I kind of made that joke, but it's kind of accurate. And I just found myself going, why, why is this okay? And I think what frustrates me the most is I thought the last one was decent and this one just I I just left the theater thinking it's it's not I feel pretty bad but I left the theater kind of pissed off to be totally honest with you and and that says something, man. I mean, it's a fucking dinosaur movie, and I just left angry. It bordered on trans uh, on Transformers territory for me at points. I will be honest. Um, I, I, so uh, when I think about a grade, I mean, I saw this early afternoon. Oh no, I saw this at nine in the morning. I saw this early, and I did not get my six dollars worth. I did not. I think this is a D plus. And I think I'm even being a little too generous to it with that. I, I just I love that you just flabbergasted by how um, not well done this was. So yeah, personally for me, I, I, I'll never watch this again. Honestly, so yeah. I and after that, I'm never gonna see it. Yeah, I mean, I, the thing is, if you need to watch it, red box it. Like pay two bucks and you'd be like, okay, there are dinosaurs. That's fine. But yeah, man, I. I I, I just left the theater kind of shocked, to be honest. So, yeah, not a fan. But, uh, you know, what do I know, right? I'm sure you know, so so would you say it's time to time to uh, next this the, whole collection? The thing is, man, this is closing in on a billion dollars. So they'll be making another one. Oh, my gosh. Whether I, we like it or not. So, I mean. it's fall, You're right. It's falling into that Transformers category. Yeah. You, you make them big enough. You throw enough movie um production into it and then you have a name like jurassic park and people are gonna go see it yeah i mean so i don't know man it's, it's do you just, think do you think they should i'm asking you do you think that they should make another one i really don't after this i went i so the oh by the way it has the worst in credit stinger you'll ever see in your life so basically it pans to vegas and you see Veloc- uh, you see uh, pterodactyls flying around, and then it just cuts to black. It's maybe a ten second clip. I just went- well, I mean that's that's where they're going to go next, right? They're just loose. Yeah, they're just like, loose. Yeah, Jurassic America, right? Oh, dude, I think you might just hit the nail on the head. Mmm, Jurassic Mexico, maybe. I, oh god, you know, <laughs> you know what? Jurassic Canada, you know, maybe North America takeover. Yeah. No, really. Oh, dude. I. What I, if? What if? What if by the end of that movie, like it's the entire world has regressed back to the Jurassic period, and oh just, like God. dinosaurs just like living everywhere, and just no humans look like they ever existed. That's. I would see that movie. Oh my God. The. Oh, dude. Jurassic World. <laughs> Jurassic World. The di- the the Dino States of America. <laughs> what <I> mean? <laughs> like, but, oh, we just made a billion dollar idea right dude, there. Dude, seriously. But seriously, though, this is just, it's a bummer of a movie, man. I just really, and even the people, I kind of stayed behind and listened to people as they kind of left. And people, I, several people were like, like, what was that? And why? Mm-hmm. So it really, the fact the rating on it is so low, I'm not surprised. Because I really feel like people are kind of going, well, this is kind of stupid. But, um yeah, if you have to see this, and I get some people have to see this. I, I totally get it. See it uh, on a five dollar movie Tuesday. If you have a Cinemark in your town, or use your movie pass. <laughs> no, seriously, because I don't want yeah. this getting full price money, man. I just, mm-hmm. I just, uh, it's bad. It's really, really bad. But uh, guys, 
feel free to tell me I'm full of shit. I'm sure some people will. Yeah, it is a great movie. But, uh, but, but, uh, what do you think of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? By the way, Fallen Kingdom, White, the Kingdom, uh, sorry. Anyways, let us know what you thought. Uh, there's you, a kingdom and it's falling and there's dinosaurs. Yeah, sure. Uh, you can like us on Facebook at The Real Pineapple. You can follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Podbean, and Google Music, uh, at the real pineapple, follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. You can follow our buddy Scott on Twitter at Newman the First. And you can follow our comrade Colin Double C. Uh, you can follow him at the Real. That's R E E L O'Neill. Double E O'Neill. Uh, guys, thank you so much for your support for listening. We will have reviews up this weekend for Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, Hopefully it comes to it hits our theater this week. Uh, sorry, uh, what? Oh my god, why am I blank on the name? But sorry for sorry for bother. For, sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you, and then for Red Sparrow as well. So, guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.